Hey guys, what's up? This is Zagatardi 2744 here today to do an application review slash demo over the application called Joypad, and it's free, available on the App Store. Now basically, it's for the iPhone and iPod Touch, and what it allows you to do is essentially make your iPhone and iPod Touch a controller to a game that you're playing on your iPad. So over Bluetooth or wireless, you can sit here and use this as a controller to your iPad. Now on top of that, what makes this application very cool is that you can actually airplay what's on your iPad to your TV. So essentially, your iPhone and iPod Touch will be the controller, your iPad will be the console, and you can actually make the TV your display almost like a console. And this is all free, available on the App Store, so without further ado, let's just go ahead and get right into this review. So let's go ahead and enter Joypad on my iPod Touch. First thing you're going to see when you open it up is it trying to connect over Bluetooth or Wi-Fi. You'll need at least one of those enabled for the devices to actually connect. Now here's the basic controller setup, with your A and B buttons as well as the arrow controls. Up top you will have the select as well as the start button. I personally wish that they would have noises, so whenever you clicked a key you would actually know where you were clicking because oftentimes you're looking at the iPad or your TV over AirPlay. If you hit the control uh, icon below, it will take you to a list of available controllers including the NES, Game Boy Advanced, SNES, Genesis, as well as the Nintendo 64 controls. If you hit the shopping cart below, you will have the option to buy a series of skins for your joypad, like the things like Retro NES, or SNES Retro, or Game Boy Retro, or Game Boy Advance Retro, or Famicom Retro, uh, Master System Retro, Genesis Retro, Nintendo 64 Retro, and those will all cost 99 cents on an in-app purchase. Like I said, the application itself is free. Now games have to be developed with the controls built into it, which kind of sucks, so it kind of limits the amount of games that you can actually use. Right now they have games like Meganoid, Super Mega Worm, uh, Moss Speedrun, Plum Crazy, and Lars, as well as Emerald Mine. Unfortunately, like I said, those do have to be enabled through an SDK in the application itself. They also have an accessory called the Fling Mini, which costs about $25. So let's go ahead and do a demo with Super Mega Worm and Joypad here. Basically on the iPad, first thing you want to do is make sure you have Wi-Fi or Bluetooth enabled. In this case, I'm doing it over Wi-Fi. We have Super Mega Worm. I'm going to go ahead and enter that. And within options, you need to make sure that the control says D-pad or Joypad or whatever you call it. Um, in this case, they did call it the D-pad and it is on. So then once you have that on and you make sure all the Bluetooth and Wi-Fi is on or Wi-Fi, uh, it'll go ahead and connect over Bluetooth or Wi-Fi. Now they did warn you on the site that Wi-Fi can be slow at times and sometimes the connection will be knocked off, but for the most part it's pretty good. And with Bluetooth you don't have that problem at all, so very good connection, pretty good response. Like I said, I am doing this over Wi-Fi, high speed internet connections, so um, I'm overall quite impressed with the responsive controls. Uh, it is a little bit laggy at some times, which you'll experience in the game here. So with the basic controller, as you guys can see, there's no skins or anything on there. I'm going to skip that, and here's the egg. Hitting A is showing the response. The response of Joypad is pretty good with the application itself. Now, like I said, the uh, gaming developers actually do have to enable their SDK into their SDK. So they have to enable the Unity SDK into their application, and then that will allow them to have Joypad controls, uh, which I hope that a lot of applications do decide to do this, and maybe someday it will get up to shooter applications, uh, like with the bigger companies like Gameloft and so on, which I really hope it does because I really like gaming like this. It's a lot of fun to game like this. It's a whole different experience. And like I said, you can even airplay your, from your iPad to the TV. So you can have your controller being the iPhone and iPod Touch, your iPad being the console, and your TV being the display. It's free, available on the App Store. I definitely recommend it to all you guys who play games like Super Mega Worm. And yes, there will be more games enabled with the Joypad in the near future. Unfortunately, they do have to integrate an SDK into the game to make it work. One last thing I want to point out is that when you look this up in the App Store and maybe you want to get it, uh, when you type in Joypad, there's going to be two of them. There's going to be an Elite version and a regular version. The Elite version costs $12 and the regular costs free. Now, in the Elite description, it says, Attention new customers, the free version of Joypad has the same features as the Joypad Elite and it's free. So make sure you get the free application and not the paid application. Thank you for watching. This is Agatardi2744. Please feel free to go ahead and visit the description below. Follow me on Facebook and Twitter, as well as iOSNova.com for up-to-date iOS news. 
You guys can also feel free to add me to Game Center. The username is below. Subscribe above for more of our iOS devices. Visit below and also leave your comments and thumbs up if you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. This is Agaturdy2744.